Hello, in this video, we are discussing defect triaging and its importance. What is defect triaging? Defect triage is a process to prioritize the defects based on severity, risks, and frequency of occurrence. The triaging mechanism helps prepare a process for testers and developers to fix as many defects as possible by prioritizing them based on parameters identified and fixed by the team. Ideally, every test cycle should have regular triage sessions. Frequency can, however, depend on the number of defects identified with every test. Now let's talk about why we need defect triaging. If defects are not recorded, mapped, and reported correctly, then the time and efforts involved in identifying the root cause and rectifying them are much higher. Multiple defects are reported at a time and you prioritize them based on business and functional needs. Defect triaging helps the development team fix bugs based on priorities and severity. Triaging, when done correctly, dramatically reduces the time between reporting the defects and its resolution. Now, how does defect triaging work? The QA team evaluates the defects, assesses them, and attaches priorities and severity levels. Priorities correspond to business perspective and severity corresponds to technicalities. Factors to be considered while evaluating and prioritizing the defects are the validity of the defect, time sensitivity for resolution, the complexity involved in resolution, and business impact. Let's talk about how WebMates makes defect triaging easy. WebMates has a comprehensive defect triaging mechanism. We ensure that the stakeholders get the correct information to resolve issues with optimal resources and time usage. What you'll see now are components of a sample report by WebMates. Defect Summary It provides a short account of the defects discovered. Replication Steps This area contains detailed steps to help the developers replicate the defect. The tester provides console logs in the replication steps that quickly helps the developer catch the issues. Video This unique process presents a walkthrough video of an actual instance of the bug happening. This removes the ifs and buts on how to reproduce a defect. Priority Suggestion Priorities are attached to the defects for easier categorization and defect management and they can change based on stakeholders' input. Test case mapping. Mapping a defect to a test case is helpful when the defect has been fixed and the module is retested. Comments. Additional comments, suggestions, and observations by the testing team are recorded here. Based on the analysis shared with stakeholders, there are many categories to classify defects during the review time. This process ensures no confusion later. To learn more, contact us via the link on the screen. Thank you.